What is good, YouTube? In today's video, man, I'm going to be giving you all the best dribble moves in Season 5 right now, and I'm also going to be giving you a dribble tutorial. Now, if this video gets to like 200 likes the day Season 6 comes out, if there are any overpowered dribble moves, anything that's crazy, I'm going to be dropping that immediately. I'll be dropping bangers all Season 6, so make sure y'all boys drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications if you have not already. Now, if you're a new sub, make sure that you comment that you're a new sub, and I will respond to you and say thank you. You can follow me on any of those socials that are at the bottom of your screen right now, and hit me on those and tell me that you're a new sub. Show me proof that your notifications are on, I will follow you back. Anything that you need, man, just hit me up. I'm not Hollywood. If you comment something funny, I might even pin your comment. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over the best badges. I'm going to be going over the best drip moves. And I'm going to be giving you a full in-depth hand cam dribble tutorial. All right? It'll be super advanced. Everything that you need to know will go from the very basics to the very advanced. And you'll have everything that you need inside of this video. So, like I said, um, make sure y'all are dropping a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm also going to be streaming very, very soon. Very, very soon. Um, I'm going to be giving away money to my subs that can beat me in different game modes different games mlb 2k a lot of different games that i play i will be giving away money if you can beat me in those games all right so make sure y'all know these are on and at some point in this video i'm gonna do a giveaway so make sure y'all boys are watching the video all the way through so you can get that keyword for that giveaway all right i love y'all boys i'll see y'all now for your settings i right? go to your settings this is very important i know a lot of people a lot of people they come out here and they don't have a clue what's going on in the settings okay it's it's kind of bad so you want to go to your controller settings off rip you should probably do this in the main menu that way it never changes on you and you never notice it changing but right now you, i like to have my vibration on this is not that important this is like the least important of all the settings possible if you like to feel your controller vibration when you're dribbling keep it if you don't get rid of it i really don't care do what you want to do you know what I'm saying? You're a free man, free woman, whoever's watching this video. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. But I like it on because I like to be able to feel my dribble move. I like to, like, if I dribble twice, I feel the vibration. It's like boom, boom. I know, like, it's done and I did it. Sometimes when I'm dribbling, it doesn't finish the combo. And I'm like, what the hell happened? But when I'm, when it's vibrating, I know how many times I flick the stick. So I know how many times I should feel it vibrate. I know that's kind of complicated, but it's really not. Pro stick orientation, this is the most important one. This has got to be on absolute. You need to make sure pro stick orientation is on absolute. If it's on camera relative, it means like if you're on the right side of the court or the left side of the court, your dribble move and the way you flick your sticks and the buttons you press are going to be different than if you're on the top of the key or the right wing or the right corner. So I don't like it to be relative to where you are on the court. I like it to be just absolute no matter where I am on the court. I have the same exact combo no matter where I am. That's very important. Pro stick function. I see a lot of people messing up and having dribble moves on for your pro stick function. I mean... I don't know why. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know when Mike Wing is going to get a brain. I don't know when 2K is going to actually become a knowledgeable company. I don't know. But it ain't right now. Okay? Period. Dribble moves. When you put your pro stick function on dribble moves, it makes it where you get less of your supposed to have dribble moves. It makes no sense. I don't know why. That's just how it is. When I have it on dribble moves, it doesn't let me do some of the snapbacks and some of the snatchbacks, some of the behind the backs. It's so weird, bro. I don't get it at all. Literally, all this does is make it where you can't accidentally shoot with the right stick. That's stupid, bro. If you, if you were out here shooting with your right stick when you're trying to dribble, you need to practice some more, okay? That has nothing to do with the setting. I'm going to be completely real. Never once in my life have I accidentally shot with my right stick, ever. I mean, comment if you have. I don't fucking know. I mean, shoot me if I'm lying, right? I don't think I've ever shot on accident with my right stick, ever, ever. So keep it on default, okay? But that's it for the important settings. Those are the two most important, absolute and default. Vibration, like I said, doesn't matter. You go finish the badges because I'm a real one. Drop a sub, I'll blow you a kiss, Mwah. right? Shooting badges, Mwah. this is just for you, right? Go ahead and send these to your friends. Let them know these are the best badges in the game. We'll skip over playmaking for a second. We'll go to defense. Here are the best defensive badges in the game. Mwah, there you go. Now, these are the best playmaking badges in the game. These are the badges that I use to dominate and go crazy on my dribbling. All right? Now, if you're a rim runner and you like to go crazy, I'm going to tell you straight up right now. Go ahead and use Hyperdrive on Hall of Fame or Gold. Whatever you can get it on. I can only get it on Gold. But I'm not, I'm not really worried about that because it doesn't really affect me that much. But you can. Now, these are the best badges in the game. Clamp Breaker, very good badge insanely overpowered badge definitely use clamp breaker okay uh 
it basically like when you're driving to the rim and somebody bumps you with if they have clamps on basically what that does is clamp breaker so it just makes it where you're able to get around your defender and you're able to score and they don't make you put get in this like pick up the ball animation or anything stupid like that you'll be able to just go straight to the basket and you'll be chilling handles for days everyone knows what this is right my build only gets it on silver put it on the highest you can get it unpluckable definitely put on the highest you can get it now normally you'd want to core this badge because it's a gold badge so the silver handles for days badge you'd obviously want to core the gold one that's unpluckable but i do not have the unpluckable gold core badge upgraded to that point so i can't do that yet but when i can i will do that and then i'll have an extra badge point and i'll probably put on hyperdrive on silver something like that but obviously quick first step as high as you can go bailout is like a must bro if you don't have bailout on they're gonna make you like turn into geno smith when he was ass and i don't know why but they do you have to have bailout on if you want to pass the ball out of a shot in any capacity if you don't have this badge on you will throw balls a thousand fucking feet away from your teammate and i don't really get why but that is how it is so i don't know hyperdrive like I said, have that as high as you can go. But these are the best badges in the game. I right, ankle breaker, decent badge. Dimer and floor general I like to use and let if I'm playing um if I'm playing 5v5 or if I'm even playing 3v3 sometimes with people that can't shoot. But I'll be honest, bro. If your friends and your teammates can't shoot, that does not that's not on you. Okay. If they are like, bro, you don't have on dimer, bro, you don't have on floor general, put that on. If you can't shoot, bro. That has nothing to do with my dimer or, or with my floor general. Nothing. You just suck at the game, and that's okay. All right, that's okay, because you're going to send them an A Cardi video, and they're going to get better. That's exactly what you're going to do. All right? But yeah, that's it for the playmaking badges. That's all you need to know. I probably dragged that out longer than it had to be, but I fuck with y'all, and I like, you know, I like making my videos heartfelt, you know, very, very in-depth and heartfelt, okay? Now, that's it for the playmaking badges, okay? So now as we get into the dribble moves themselves okay now your dribble style there's going to be a lot of different things that you can do for all of these dribble moves and i will be giving you my personal opinion okay i dominate in park i dominate in play now i dominate in my team shit i dominate in my gm i mean i'll have fucking I don't know Cody Martin on the heat looking like he's LeBron James on the 2011 heat if I wanted to go in there and you know actually play Cody Martin's whole career you know what I'm saying that's how crazy I am I get crazy with the drum moves I get crazy with the jump shots I get crazy with everything that you need to know about this game I've been playing this game since I, was, since I came out the womb damn near I've been dominating shit okay I had 3 million VC every single year from the stage and I plan on do a video like that this year because I'm back now but I got every single dribble move for y'all boys. I right, comment your build, comment any questions you have before we get into the dribble moves. I want y'all to go ahead if I if I miss anything, okay? If I miss absolutely anything, comment. I will respond. I'm not Hollywood. I'm not weird. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm a YouTuber with the subs. You're just a fucking peasant. No, bro. If you have a question that I don't go over, comment. I will answer it to the best of my ability. If I don't know the answer, I'll ask my subs or the people that watch me to answer the question because I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything, but I know a lot, okay? If there's something I don't know, my subs got you, bro. I've seen it in the past. Just comment your question, okay? Just comment your question. It's that simple. I hate when people just, you know, don't comment and they just click off the video because they didn't get their question answered. Just comment, I'll, I will reply to you. All right, so dribble style, offer it. Dribble style, let's go ahead and look at it. All right, now, for my center build, I always used Joel Embiid, I always used, um, these other i tried all these different moves all these different dribble moves for my dribble style whenever i had i didn't have a 75 ball handle i had a lower one i had a 60 or 65 i went with joel Embiid or this simone augustus you have to be under 16 though um but joel Embiid is the best one for centers okay michael jordan is the best one for like six nines then i would say probably the best one for short or small guards is chris paul okay but for me i'm gonna be going with michael jordan because on this build i'm six eight so michael jordan for this one now for the signature size up there's a lot you can go tracy mcgrady which is good for 85 ball handle you have to be under 610 russell westbrook is good for those tall center builds but most of the time you have to be under 610 lebron james is okay james harden i tried this out because i was so dominant with james harden on my team it was not that good um paul george tried that out wasn't that good steve francis is very good if you're a small ball handler i would go steve francis if i was six five and under definitely six five and under i'm going steve francis but Kobe Bryant is very, very good. It gives you that animation right there, as you can see. Wait for it, wait for it, right there, that one. It gives you that crazy animation that you can spam 
and I, I found it to be very good especially on the ones the twos and stage I found it to be very very easy to get open whenever I'm doing this move so I use Kobe Bryant for my signature size up now for my size up escape package ever since like season two season three when it dropped Kevin Durant has been the best size up escape package in the game now if you're a small guard definitely go with Trey Young or Damian Lillard okay I like Damian Lillard if you want the Allen Iverson step back if you don't want the Allen Iverson step back you don't have to go with Damian Lillard if you just want the best you know pure size up escape package in the game is Trey Young and it's not close that's if you're a small guard if you're a tall guard Kevin Durant it's not even close go to Kevin Durant that is the best one in the game if you are a taller um, guard go Kevin Durant now for your moving crossover this move is not that important okay now I tried James Harden and I tried John Wall because I was both I was very good with both those cards I, the early John Wall that came out in my team early in the year I was very good at with this card so I was like okay I'll try the John Wall moving crossover wasn't that good Tried James Harden wasn't that good um, but I ended up settling with Michael Jordan. Okay, you get a 75 ball handle. You can get it I think Michael Jordan is the best in the game. If you're a tall guard I would go with Damian Lillard. He uh, requires or if you're a small guard I mean he requires a 90 ball handle to get this crossover So if you are a small guard, I would go with Damian Lillard crossover if you're a tall guard Michael Jordan or James Harden now James Harden is what I'm gonna go with for right now now for your moving behind the back Okay, Allen Iverson is definitely the behind the back you want to go with um, I've tried James Harden. I've tried Zach Levine now if you're a small guard definitely Damian Lillard or Stephen Curry But if you want an explosive behind the back, I would go with something like Allen Iverson Okay, Allen Iverson has a good behind the back as you can see it gives you some space Especially if you're running the floor. It will give you space. Okay. That's why I like Allen Iverson I don't like mid behind the backs. that don't give you any space something like pro go ahead and look at pro like something like this No way am I running that? No way. Um, Allen Iverson, to me, if you're a tall guard, definitely go with this. If you're a small guard, go with Damian Lillard or Stephen Curry. Not that hard. Um, but yeah, this move's not that important. So Allen Iverson's what I'm going to put on right now. Now, for your moving spin, all right? Everyone knows. It's been, I don't know. Maybe that's why I started firing a bunch of people like OG Constant, Mitchell and Crot, and all those fucking dweebs. Holy shit. Them boys are fucking dweebs of hell. <laughs> but they went and go ahead and sent their ass packing because they haven't moved they haven't added in a new basic or a new moving spin um since you know there was fucking fossils and dinosaurs on Earth. So that's why basic spin has been the best spin in the game. I don't really have to go over it. It's basic spin. Okay, it's basic spin. It will always be basic spin. They'll never add a new spin move into the game. I'm convinced until 2K actually goes broke and goes bankrupt, they won't add a new spin move that's better than the basic spin. I'm, I'm settling on that. So basic spin. Moving hesitation. Okay, I used Kyrie Irving earlier on in the year. Um, Tracy McGrady and my team also has this um, move of hesitation because it gives you a big step back. Now, Kyrie Irving is good for small guards, but I like to go Luka Doncic. It's the best one in the game. It gives you a big hesitation, big, I don't know. I just like moving hesitation, Luka Doncic. Go with that. Moving step back. Now, here's where things get interesting. Now, I use Luka Doncic. If you want that big 2K17 hop step, um, go ahead and put on Kyrie Irving, but I like Luka Doncic. It gives you that big, explosive step back that can create space. I like to spin back out of it. I like to do a bunch of different shit out of it. Luka Doncic is the best one to go with. Go Luka Doncic. Now, pass style, LeBron James, and there you go. All right, so to start off, we're going to start off with some basic things, okay? We're going to go over simple crossover, simple uh, moves that are going to get you open. All right, so we're going to go over the basics, and I'm going to go over, like, different things that are going to get you open, like the misdirections and stuff like that, all right? So to start off, we're going to go over with the little, like, crossover that goes literally straight diagonally up. All right, so look, in the Gator facility, I'm also going to have to, you know, slow this down that way because it's not like the micro, okay? I'm not going to be able to do this in a micro where I'm not going to lose stamina. All right, so first of all, if you're going to want to do this move right here where you can speed boost out of it, then you're going to have to... All right, I got to wait for more stamina, bro. It's so annoying. All right, so now more stamina. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top of the key, and all you want to do is flick the right stick diagonally up to the off-ball hand. So if, my, if the ball is in my right hand, I'm going to flick the stick to the right stick diagonally up into the left. All right, if the ball is in my left hand, I'll flick the stick diagonally up into the right. All right, so we're going to go off-ball hand. So the ball is in your left hand, the off-ball hand would be the right hand. I know some people don't understand that terminology. But that's what I'm here to help you with, okay? <laughs> so, if the ball is in my right, in my left hand, I'm going to flick the stick diagonally up into the right. If my ball is in the right hand, I'm going to flick the stick diagonally up into the left. And I'm going to hold RT after I do it, and I'm going to run with the left stick. And you have to, you cannot run straight to the side like that. It has to be diagonally up or to the, diagonally up either direction, just like last year. If you run straight to the left or straight to the right, you're going to get a slow animation and look like that right there. And that's not what you're trying to do. You want to speed boost, right? So, you want to, bro, you want to speed boost, right? So, you want to go diagonally 
to the to the up wherever you're going with the left stick so if i go diagonally up it looks like this i get an actual speed boost out of it and i can actually get to my spot and shoot in green i i miss that because i know stamina because this game you know it doesn't allow you to get stamina in the gatorade facility or turn it off but that is how you do a simple little move like that all right so you can also do another move you're not holding rt when you're doing that but if you did hold rt you get like the trey young escape like that right there and it, that's what that would look like i you can hold rt you cannot hold rt you just gotta pr practice and um understand what each of those moves do all right now i'm gonna go over to behind the back now all you have to do for the behind the back is literally like it's basically just instead of flicking up and diagonally up to the off ball hand you're gonna flick down diagonally to the off ball hand so look i can sit there and spam the hand behind the back like that and i can speed boost out of it just like that get to my spot pull up green i it's very very simple honestly all these moves are very very simple you just have to practice them and get them down because they'll all really make sense and really be super simple as you keep going all right so the behind the back and we'll, and we'll implement something else so we go behind the back and then we do that and then we come back the other way all right, so right there, we did three of the moves we just learned how to do. Very, very simple. All right, so we went behind the back. I'm going to tell you exactly what we did. We went behind the back. Then we held RT and flicked the right stick down the up to the left, which gave us that move. And then we didn't hold RT, and we went back the other way and then speed boost to our spot. That's literally all we did. And that little move I just showed you how to do, that's literally all we did. All right, so let's do, put them all together again. All right, we put the behind the back or put the little uh, behind the back together along with the Trey Young back the other way. Then just like that, we're wide open and we're at our shot and we're at our spot. Just like that, man. Now it's all, we're literally the three most basic moves in the game. We're already comboing, okay? So if you want to implement the little snatch back that looks like this, all you have to do is flick your right stick up and your left stick down. That's it. You literally flick this up and flick this down at the same time, and you're gonna get this move right here. And you're gonna get this, bro damn bro now in order to activate it every single time for me i always hold the right the right trigger because i'm not really going anywhere so i'm going to activate it if i do it anyway but that move right there looks so you know simple but it's so effective all right my jump shot is so slow but it is so simple and so effective it will get you open i promise you all right now i'm going to go over the spin back all you want to do for the spin back with the basic spin is you're going to use the right stick and you're going to go from 12 o'clock which is up here at the top of this this is 12 o'clock if you look at the clock at 12 o'clock's up here and you're going to spin it from 12 12 o'clock all the way down to six o'clock when you're gonna hold rt running in and you're gonna let go of rt then spin it and you will spin back so look holding rt i let go of rt and i spin back just like that and then that's how you get the easy spin back that simple bro some of these moves are really so simple you just have to practice put this in 0.25 playback speed and you'll start understanding all of it so we're gonna put all those moves together that we just learned i spin back okay i just messed up the spin back all right, so this might this might be bad because I have no stamina, but we're gonna do it anyway. Then I spin back, I right, and then we shoot. I didn't pull it back because I didn't have enough stamina. I didn't. I wasn't able to do the pullback. All right, so now I'm gonna teach all the misdirections. I right, and then behind the back, so I taught you the spin back. I taught you a little simple Derrick Rose, whatever little tween, and then I taught you um, behind the back. I taught you how to snatch the ball back. I taught you how to spin back. Now you gotta learn the behind the back. All right, so if you want to do this move right here where you can go behind the back, all you have to do is it's just like every other year that you've ever done the behind the back you hold rt flick the right stick diagonally down to the off ball hand so the ball's my left hand i'm gonna flick the, the right stick diagonally down into the right and then with my left stick i'm gonna point it to the direction i want to go right after i do this so look at this all right so just put this in 0.25 speed if you don't understand all right it's very simple to do okay i don't think i have i don't have any stamina so i need to shoot the ball bro it's so annoying bro it's actually so frustrating all right so now i've stand i have the adrenaline boost you got to remember if you're going left and right you're not gonna you're gonna use adrenaline boost but when you're standing still comboing up in the same spot you won't lose these adrenaline boosts which will be a good thing i right, that's what you're gonna try to do you want to stay in the same spot and not lose adrenaline boost all right so now let's do the let's do a little behind the back all right that's how you do the behind the back very very simple just watch and put this at 0.25 speed if you're not all right might already out of stamina so you can't really spam it this year but you know that's how you do it if you do want to do it all right now let, i'm gonna show you how to do the momentum all right if you want a momentum all you have to do is like flick up on the right stick then point the left stick whichever direction you want to go so that my ball is in the left hand i'm gonna go to the right so i'm gonna flick up on the right stick and then move my left stick down up into the right just like this and you can really spam it i just messed it up but you can really sit here and spam it if you wanted to it's really not that hard bro it's not letting me do it because my stamina is so low bro it's actually so annoying i can't even teach y'all properly because my stamina is so low if you want to do the misdirections that do activate that move right there all you have to do is basically just do every the same thing that you did last year if you never learned how to do it last year all you have to do is if for that little behind the back misdirection all you want to do is hold rt flick diagonally down on the right stick and then diagonally down 
to the on ball hand with the left stick. So if the ball is in my left hand, I'm gonna flick down and to the left. And if the if the ball is in my left hand, I'm gonna, on the right stick, I'm gonna flick down and to the right. So it's gonna look like that. Maybe bow like that. You see? So look at my look at my right and left stick. I'm going this way with the left stick. I'm going this way with the right stick. You see what I'm saying? We gotta do it at the same time while holding RT. And you wanna do the left stick a little like slightly slightly after you do the right stick slightly so it's going to be right stick down down first but this one is going to come right after it i don't know if you could even see that and then we're also going to swap it bro come on so let me do it come on there we go it's very simple very easy to do if you need to put that back in 0.25 speed put it in 0.25 speed slow it down and watch my fingers that's how you're gonna learn you gotta learn to figure out what your fingers need to do all right you need to learn off exactly what i did and learn how what you need to do with your fingers in order to activate that animation all right you can also do it you can also do it in the front if you want to do it in the front but it's not let me do it bro it's actually pissing me off now if you just want to do a little simple move a little simple escape all you have to do is hold rt and flick up on the right stick and you'll get one of these escapes whatever escape you have on which is what i gave you i gave you my escape um, another move that you can do is hold RT and flick the right stick straight down and you just have to figure out all these moves and what how they work for you Okay, I'm blinking red. I literally cannot get open um, But you just gotta figure out how the moves work for you what you need to do for them to work for you But all those moves are basically the most simple basic moves in this game If you want to do the little little cross thing or you can literally sit there and spam that back and forth if you want to But no, but that's not gonna get you open bro. I promise. That's not what's gonna get you open smart dribble moves saving your energy and um, not dribbling too much left to right and actually doing effective moves. That's what's going to get you open. Okay. So look, if this video did help you out, drop a like right now. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all boys in the next video, man. Peace.